Hi there. Uh, today I thought I would show you how to customize KDE 5.10.4 uh, is what I have currently and this is Neon so uh, it updates uh, quite frequently and uh, you still have a stable OS to uh, work with. So I've been impressed with it on many levels, uh, partic particularly uh, now it, it's really gotten, uh, I think it's, it, it works quite well. Um, uh, of course, the more RAM you have, the, it, it'll just speed things up. But uh, four, eight, the current one I have is eight gigs of RAM, this, this uh, computer that I'm using here. And basically, I just wanted to show you how I customized mine. Um, I always prefer to have the main panel on the left and that's why this is on the left and um, and what I did was add a second panel down below uh, which is auto on auto hide basically because I like a clean look um, I also added um, a wit the widget that uh, allows you to suspend or log out or lock the uh, desktop and the way that I did this uh, actually was, um, I should be going the other direction, but since I'm talking about this, um, you would normally, you have to right click on the, on a, a blank area and you need to unlock your widgets at all times whenever you want to manipulate the panel. So I'll unlock it. And then you have this little, I'll call it the hamburger menu because I have no other reference to what this really is called. So the little hamburger menu will pop up once you unlock the uh, widgets, or you could say unlock the panel. And then if you hover over one of the uh, icons here, I'll hover over one and then right click it. And then you click the lock lockout settings. It gives you the ability to add these additional features. Um, I just added suspend uh, and I, it by default it had lock and leave. However, when lock and leave are enabled without the suspend, they're very little tiny, they're quite tiny icons. So with the third one, it, it gave me the ability to make it larger um, in this configuration and uh, in a horizontal fashion, I should say. And it, this is also why the panel is of a certain height. It's so that I can keep these icons at their largest in this type of configuration so um, anyway it works quite well for me and I'll try to show you the process of just the basic process of customizing uh, KDE uh, without any super bells or whistles I don't I didn't add a lot of external widgets or anything um, so in this instance here the panel to get the panel from the bottom when you originally install it the panel will be at the bottom to move it to the left you right click on the panel in this case you would unlock it it says locked because it's actually unlocked as you can see here the uh, hamburger menu is enabled so I'll click on it and give you a demo here so when you click on it it allows you to alter the width or the edge and if you as you hover over the particular uh, verbiage or worded uh, wording um, so screen edge, if you click on it, you can move this and basically just bring it right up to the top or to the bottom where it originally was or to the left if you so desire. So I'm going to return it back to where I want it. So I'm holding the, the left mouse button down and just dragging it to where I want it. Once you got it where you want it, just release the mouse and you're done with that. As for the width, you click on the left mouse button and you pull it out and it makes it a lot thicker or larger or wider I should say or smaller and I just was trying to match the the upper icons there or the upper the terminal and the folder so that it kind of see when you get real small it gets well, that actually that works too so let's do that we'll leave it just like that so they're all of the relatively the same size and these, the, the um, folder and the terminal icons are actually a quick launch widget that I added. Um, 
This is also an additional widget, just the show desktop. I put that in this panel. I wanted to keep it kind of simple and then allow the rest of the bar for when I have an application open. And in this instance, you can see that I have simple screen recorder uh, working right now so that you can actually see the video. Um, so once you've determined how you, the width and, or the, the width of the panel and how you like it, then you would uh, close it out. Now also I had to reverse these um, icons and by doing that you would actually, you can see this little four, uh, looks like a four angled star and once you hover over these items you're able to move them where you want them so uh, the system tray i reversed it it was down below i pushed it up on top brought the menu from uh, it was up on top i brought it down here and the reason you know it's reversed because of how it was laid down below originally so once you have it where you want it you're basically done you can just close it out and now it's still in an unlocked mode, uh, only because I'm going to show you a few other things. Um, the other widget, uh, I believe, is the cl now the clock would have already been in the panel, so it's it's actually a widget in itself. Uh, but I just maneuvered these in the order of how I wanted these here as well. However, this panel is not is not the same type of panel as the main panel. This is a uh, in the hamburger menu, if you click on it and you go to more settings, you can, um, uh, well, no, I'm sorry. It's not there. It would be under, let's click it again. Actually it would be a right click. I, I apologize. Um, you can right click here, panel options, add panel. That's how you add additional panel, just like that. So when you do that, then you can go with a default and empty panel. And I chose an application menu bar panel. And I'll just give you an example of how that, how that was worked. If you click on it, it'll bring up the panel. Uh, in this instance, it's at the top. Um, also, normally, I think it would be at full length. Uh, and it may be because I also have this open here. I'm not quite sure at the moment. Um, but what you do is this type of panel, you click on the hamburger menu again. You can add your widgets by going here. If you're going to add applications, I'll close this. You would just go into your menu, uh, your main menu. And oh, let me um, let's see if I can do that within this mode. Let's close this down. There we go. OK, so I open up the menu. Now you can actually take a particular item that you want to put in that menu just left click mouse hold it down drag it see the little hand there just let it go once you have it release you have your application put in the panel and then you continue that with all the items you want and once you have all the different items in the panel then you would bring click on the hamburger menu and then hover your mouse over the particular uh, app that you might want to reshuffle in the order that you so desire. Uh, once you have them all done, this is a global menu uh, that's put in this particular uh, panel. And what I eventually do is I just delete it. Uh, I, I'm not sure how to use it, to be honest, at this point, or haven't used it. And I just didn't want to see this little triangle here, so I just deleted it, and it doesn't affect the working of the of the applications or the panel and the way that I'm using it. So anyway, this is just a short video on how to do some basic uh, changes. Uh, and then, of course, if you don't like the panel or you don't want the panel, you can um, go into more settings here and then just remove the panel. And when you remove it, it, say you said, oh, no, no, I didn't want to remove it. You can also undo it right here. It gives you the option. So it's the last bit of uh, ability to, to change your setting before you finalize the remove. But I'm going to uh, leave it removed. And then just you can just close that out. Um, 
And the only other thing I was going to show you was that the main menu, if you right click on it and left click alternatives, you have an option to the three different modes of, of using the panel. I chose the application menu because I thought it, it worked best for me. You can do it however you like. Um, there's these other launchers, but I prefer the basic one there. So I'm going to just leave it the way it is. Um, and now I'm going to um, lock the panel, so or lock all your widgets in the panel by going like that. And now you're back to square one. And this is how I have it in my setup. And uh, um, hopefully this helps some of you in customizing the basic uh, panels of KDE. And uh, thanks for watching.